so hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are going to learn something more in flutter okay so first of all sorry guys for not uploading video from past few days because i was just busy in some of work okay so now just dive right into our flutter work and now we will learn something about the tool tips okay so without wasting any time let's dive right into tool tips tool tip is basically used to identify any widget okay by just long pressing over it it will just tell about what it is okay so we will just go and import the package of material dot and after this material that we will have void main and we will just call the run app run app will have a name like my app and now what we will do is we will create a state stateless class yeah in this stateless class will name will be my app okay and this container will be replaced by material app material app yeah sorry material app yeah in this material app we will have a uh, debug scanner as false because we don't want any of the banners at the rightmost corner of the screen okay and after that we will give a tight theme yeah let the theme be theme data firstly we will have a primary swatch primary swatch let this will be colors dot red okay and after that we will again have some primary color like colors dot deep orange okay i am not thinking about the primary color um, color schemes okay but i am just drawing that and after that we will have a title title will be tool tip demo okay and after that we will have a home home we will call a home okay and so we have to just create this uh, stateless class so we will have a stateful class sorry stateful class and this will call a home okay and after this stateful and everything is done so we have to create a new class that will be a stateful class or a stateless class okay that will contain our um, <coughs> tool tip um, another thing parameters okay so here we will create a stateless class and stateless class let it will give a name as tool tip let it be tt i am just calling it a tt okay and this will contain two string but this string will be final string okay L then it will be a text and after that we will again have a, fi a final string final uh, what am i typing final string okay and it will be tool tip okay and after that we will create a constructor of these class okay and after this we will just enclose this in the curly braces okay so this is done and now what we will do we will just call this uh, call a tool tip instead of the container okay so th this will be tool tip yeah and this tool tip will contain a message and this message will be same message that we will give in the tool tip okay so we will call only the tool tip tool tip yeah and after that we will have a uh, child okay let the child be uh, what the child uh let uh, the child be text yeah and this text will contain this text okay yeah so we have done with our this okay so now we are coming to our main home state class okay let me just minimize this yeah so instead of this container we will call this scaffold scaffold yeah and in this scaffold we will have not first not starting with body we will have a app bar app bar okay and in this app bar we will have a title title will be a text okay and this text will be tool tip demo okay okay demo demo okay just leave and after that we will have a action widget action widget will contain action icon buttons okay and no not context here 
and in this we will have a icon icon will be icon and after that icons dot more vertical let it be okay and icons dot more vertical <coughs> and after that yeah let it be copy and paste yeah let me do uh, something more like we will have we will call a search function okay so this is done okay and after the app bar we will have a body body will have a center widget okay because we want the text or anything for, to be in the center and we will have a child this child basically what this child will do this child will call our this class tt class okay so let me just call the tt okay and in that tt you can see that there are two things one in the text and one is the tooltip okay so this text will contain what it will contain it will contain some message like uh, hello world tool tip okay and this tool tip will contain something message to be uh, displayed okay this played yeah okay and after that this and if we just long press over this text it will show me this message okay but our icon button contains a tooltip by default okay it means that if we can just type you can see that there is a tooltip here okay if we was we can just assign some message on this icon button also this is the more okay we can just give it like more vertical okay and after that here we can just say that search button okay so this is done okay you can see that okay I don't think that there is any of the error and it is not showing so guys let me just uh, run it and see so firstly let me just attach my this mobile to my laptop because you know that i don't use uh, emulator as i don't prefer emulator very much so let me just set up my um, de developer option on let me just wait a sec okay so it is done okay. so you can see that my device has been connected okay to my laptop okay so let me one second just check all the things are they right class we have a constructor here okay and after that constructor we are just calling the files and your text and toolkit and uh, yeah everything is right okay three two one let's just write start it okay so you can see that we have just run the files okay so it will just initialize the gradle and other things okay so let's just wait for our file to initialize and let me just see what the output comes okay so guys if you if this code works correctly okay so the code that i'm writing here will be uploaded in my github pocket you must visit my github repository link of the github repository will be in the description below okay and we please go and like our facebook page that is the code cave page on facebook that the link of the page will be given in the description below okay so guys just visit the page and like that page because the videos and the screenshot of my apps will be uploaded there also okay so just go and visit like our page and you can just chat with me over there uh, and just ask any query if you want to ask okay and i will definitely reply there so you can just visit there and uh, <laughs> you can you are allowed to do any of the uh, 
modification in this code okay just visit our code give your copy this code use this code and yeah just modify this code and just upload in my code cave page so that i can also review that okay just modify these codes um, play with it enjoy with it and just show us the output and show our community the output of your work hmm, okay and if your work is good then yeah everybody will like that okay so yeah let's wait for our gradle to build okay and yeah guys just uh, share these videos with your friend who are interested in coding okay because your help and your share definitely help us to make more and more videos more and more interesting contents for you okay and if you have have any of the doubts regarding flutter or anything else in java or android just write down in the comment section below and i will definitely get back to you on that i will make some of the video in android studio also after this these flutter main main topics okay so let's just wait for a gradle to build okay and we will meet up after the gradle has been built So you can see that the app has been built and this um, the output of the app will be on my screen okay you can see this screen and the point the app syncs okay it the uh, result will be shown in the app um, screen okay so just wait for a few seconds so that the app just syncs with our mobile yeah okay let wait for a few seconds yeah so you can see that the there is a text hello world tooltip okay so as we long press over it you can see that there is a message to be displayed okay and at the top most corner why the action button is not showing properly let me just yeah so you can see that there is um, the icon is not showing but it is showing the tooltip at the search button and the more vertical button okay so this is basically why it's not showing i'm not confirm okay but our mo our um, work that we want to do is the tooltip okay it's working properly okay so that's all for today guys if you like the video give it thumbs up subscribe to my channel okay and just uh, share this with your friends okay thank you have a nice day